All right, guys, we got a Honda Civic 2022 and up, up to like 2024. This is a two liter non-turbo. There's a two liter turbo as well. Pretty sure it's the same as a turbo version with a 1.5. I'm gonna quickly show you how to drain this coolant out. You can see the bumper is out already because of uh, this been in a collision right here. It got smack hard. It pushed this frame towards the engine and you can see it's rubbing the belt to the alternator and it's making some weird noise. That's why the bumper is out, the fender is out, the rad support is out, everything. Showing you how to uh, drain the coolant down here. Got my buddy Muhammad here. He's gonna put a container, take out the drain cock, turn it to the left. There we go. All the way out. Oop. Oop. There you go, Just slowly. Yes. So it's just a quick drain on this uh, coolant out. It's probably hard for you guys with the bumper on and then the shield underneath. You have to take out that shield. And this uh, process here, we, we took out the bumper because like I said, we're pulling out the engine on this because uh, the body shop is pulling this frame out and re replace this whole thing right here. After taking out this uh, coolant, we're gonna disconnect the upper rad hose, lower rad hose. We're gonna leave the condenser attached to the line. We're not gonna discharge the coolant. We'll swing the whole thing over. Close now? Yeah, you can close now. So just put the plug back in. It's pretty much drain on the front and those still have coolant in the block. Those coolant on the block will drain out someday. So we're gonna take out the upper rad, lower rad hose, and then we're gonna swing this condenser over on this side because we'll be taking out this engine and transmission all together. Spin, spin, spin the... Uh, uh, there you go. Okay, pull. Out, out, out. It's good now. Pull out. Spin, spin, spin. There you go. There you go. Alright, so the next one is uh, under the, the rod right there. There's a clamp. We're going to use the same tools to uh, spread that clamp open. All right guys, so there's a harness right here. This is a harness for the fan. You can take it out from the rad and swing the whole harness out. But for me, I like to uh, take that whole harness out, disconnect from here together with the rad. So there's a retainer right here from the bracket. Take that out, uh, disconnect this. This is loose already, take that out. And the uh, ground, you need to take that one out. Perfect. Put it back. And then last piece, there's a retainer right there. You need to take that out. All right, so the rag is loose. Okay, there's a zip tie. We need to cut this. Yeah, we need to cut that one. And this harness will be free and loose from the engine. There you go. Okay, there you go. See, it's all together harness. is dripping coolant right there on your foot. And then because it's the condenser AC is connected here, we're just gonna uh, swing it over on the passenger side. All right, so here's the whole thing right here. We're gonna swing it out. Be careful with the line right here, the low side. This is the high side. Just gonna disconnect it. There's not much of a tension on this line. You know, this thing, you could bend this quick. So be careful, okay? Because this is free on inside of this thing. We don't want to leak free on. Uh, just put this on the side like that and we'll be working everything on this side right here. You can see this is bent right here. So I'm assuming that this undercarriage is bent as well. It's hard to tell because it got hit right here going in side of this suspension. This is bent so wrong way. Jesus. You crazy bro. <laughs> yeah bro. Someday that bolt's gonna break, it's gonna be hard to Yeah, yeah, I know what to So do. just double check your yeah, you're right, you're right. which way the spin. Sorry, sorry about Alright, next one. We can use the old one on these. Yeah. On a parts car. Sure. I wanna see. Alright, this is out. Garbage. 
All right, so next we're gonna trim everything around the engine. So we start from uh, this side right here. We'll uh, take out this air box out, okay? Just like a Lego, start from the top, work your way down, disconnect everything from here. And then after the air box, we'll do the battery after. All right, so this air box, there is three layers, the upper, the middle, and then the third. So we're just gonna take out the upper first. To get to the second row, we need to take out the upper cover, the main cover of the box, and then I believe the resonator or the intake on the bottom side. Yeah. There you go. Wow, look, lots of bugs. Okay, and then next, there you go. Peel off, there's a bolt right here that you need to take out that second layer. And then the third layer, there's a bolt right here, and then there's a bolt down right there. Okay, so there's this, this bolt here, bro. Yes. This one up and there, and then there's the one down here. Okay. So let's take those out. Already they put it? Yeah. Alright, so the third bolt, there's one over here on the corner. Take those out, okay? This is like a intake resonator, this big junky old box right here. It's just to uh, reduce the noise of the intake air coming in. So it's taking out the last bolt down there. There's only three bolts, one on this side and two on the engine bay. All right, so the bolts are out. This thing right here is all in one, one piece, so you can see. You can't take this out, it doesn't split anything in half. So it's gonna leave it for now, because to take this out, I believe you had to take out this uh, lower frame right here on this side. You had to take out this frame so that this piece right here will drop underneath. I'm just gonna leave it. We'll deal with that later. But next, we're gonna go with the battery here. Take out the brackets, the bolts, the positive cable. Take that out. We pull out the bracket and then the, the tray underneath. All right, we got the battery out. Uh, take out the tray and there's more tray down here that we need to take out Three main bolts right here and then that one and this one and hopefully this tray will come out as well 12 on those three and then 10 on the middle one All right guys, so we got the battery tray out. Everything is nice and clean back there, it's loose. Now, we deal with this harness right here. So basically, anything attached to the ECU right here, we have to disconnect this big chunk of wire right here, this big connector. We'll disconnect from the ECU and then this uh, air box right here, we're just gonna swing this whole thing over to the engine because this goes harness, this goes together with the engine transmission we, when we take them out. So we disconnect everything, okay? All right guys, so to disconnect this big fat connector from the ECU, you just need a flat screwdriver. So just put it in here, push this thing down, this black piece, and then this gray bracket it will swing over. There you go, easy. Same thing on this side. Push this black piece down here, silver bracket will swing up and disconnect from the ECU. There you go, we'll put this on the side. All right, another big fat connector right here and this one right here. So first we're just gonna open these tabs right here and this will disconnect from the bracket. Like that, and then this big fat right here, just put your fat screwdriver underneath like that. Same thing on the other side, there we go. So this whole thing right here will go together with an engine transmission okay we don't want to disconnect anything on the sensor side of the engine because that's gonna take a while next will be uh taking this whole thing out i don't know how this thing works but let's figure it out all right let's uh open it up because there's two wire right here at attached to this uh, fuse box so i think we're just gonna have to disconnect this wire out of the fuse box that's why we're gonna open this up oh there we go Take out these two bolts right there. 
has like eight eight mil and this wire right here will disconnect from the fuse block this fuse block right here will stay on the vehicle and this harness will swing over together with the engine all right we'll finish it off with the screwdriver right there take out that screw and then we're just gonna pull this uh, cable out just like that and same thing on the other side just like that and only one way in there because there's tabs right there and tabs right there all right there you go this whole harness will go together with an engine all right guys ground right here we'll take out that 10 mil on the ground and then this side looks clean on this side now we'll be working at the back it's going to be a tough one at the back so just look around uh, there's like inlet outlet heater hose right here uh vacuum booster hose right there purge solenoid right here need to take that out and what is this one right here yeah go around so we're just gonna quickly do that everything down here i'm just gonna fast forward everything <laughs> 